Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to flash the official release of Android 4.3 for the Galaxy S4 i9505. So again, this works only with the i9505, it does not work with the Exynos variant, it does not work with any carrier lock variants. So just make sure that you have an i9505 before you continue. So guys, this is an official update, meaning you will not lose your warranty by following this tutorial. Those of you who aren't rooted and those of you who are rooted and on stock firmware will not lose your apps and data. Most probably, uh, those of you on custom ROMs might. It's always good to be safe, so go ahead, back up your apps and data before you continue. And in case if you're wondering if this is official, why haven't I received it yet? Samsung has a habit of rolling out the firmware updates in regions. So with Android 4.3, they've gone ahead and released it in Germany first, but don't worry, major languages are included. So guys, the first thing you do is click on link 1 in the download section in the description. That will take you to this page. Download Samsung keys from here and install it. Once you've installed it, just make sure it's not running in the background and exit it. Clicking on link 2 will take you to this page. Download Odin 307, that's Odin 3v3.07, the zip file and save it. Link 3 will take you to this page. This uh, the, this is the firmware file, it's about 1.5 gigs. Download it and save it as well. So once you've done that, you will get these two zip files. This is from link 2, this is from link 3. Right click on it and extract it. Right click on this and extract it and you will get this file. The .tar.md5 file. So guys, right now go ahead and turn off your Galaxy S4. Once the phone's off, hold down volume, power and home at the same time. Okay, you can let the keys go now. Now hit volume up to continue. And now plug the phone into the PC with a micro USB cable. So now go into Odin, right click, select run as administrator. So guys, uh, as long as your drivers are installed properly, this will turn blue. If it doesn't, it means you're having some driver issues. Uh, just ensure that Samsung Keys isn't running in the background. If the issue still persists, go ahead, uninstall Keys, reboot your PC, reinstall Keys again, reboot it again, and then run Odin and it should work just fine. So now click on PDA, and navigate to wherever it is that you've extracted this file, the .tar.md5 file, select it. So over here, make sure that uh, repartition is unchecked and only auto reboot and f dot reset time are checked. So this will take a few seconds. So just wait for uh, wait for it. Uh, it might say not responding. Even if it does, don't worry. It will work in a few seconds. Uh, guys, in the meantime, uh, if you have any other version of Odin, do not use it. It might not work. All right. Uh, right now, click start. So this is gonna take about five minutes. I'll be back with you guys once it's done. All right guys, once it says reset, you can now unplug your phone from the PC, close Odin, and we are, now, we are now done with the PC part of this tutorial. So let's quickly switch back to the Galaxy S4, which will be rebooting now. Guys, in case you were rooted and had a custom ROM installed, or for any reason if your phone didn't boot back up, and if you got stuck in a boot loop that is with a Samsung logo or a blank screen, First off, give it a few minutes. If it still gets stuck on the same screen, just go ahead, pull your battery out. All right. Give it a few seconds, pop it back in. Now hold up volume, power and home at the same time. Just keep holding it till you see Samsung Galaxy S4 displayed. Once you see that, let it go. This will take you to Android system recovery. Just give it a second. There you go. Okay, so over here you can use the volume keys to navigate and the power button to select. Scroll down, select, apply, um, I'm sorry, select wipe data slash factory reset. Once it's done, select wipe cache partition. Once that's done, go back up, hit reboot system now. You will lose your apps and data, but your S4 will boot back up just fine. So guys, we are up and as you can see my data, my apps like the root checker basic which I had installed prior to uh, flashing this are still present. I've not lost any data. Quickly going into settings, about device. There you go, Android 4.3 uh, Chili Bean. 
So I guess that pretty much wraps up this tutorial guys. I hope you found it useful and if you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And in the meantime, if you guys do have any video requests for me or if you just want to stay updated on my latest videos and updates, feel free to hit me up on Facebook, Twitter or Google+. The direct links to all my social networks can be found right below the like button. So once again, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys soon in the next one. Till then, this is Ash here from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye bye now.